This is sandstone, which is really from a foundry. It's where they pour hot steel. And this place is built around 18 something, but there's not very many foundries around anymore. Uh, I found this stone, which was buried like in a lot uh, near my house on the south, south side. And at the time, I was working on uh, making a miniature house out of cardboard and I got two pieces of stone and I kind of put some Elmer's glue which on the top of um, this uh, cardboard house and I rubbed two pieces uh, together and I noticed how I mean, well, in one piece it was forming a shape and what happened that I started going back to this lot which is right down on the streets from me Searching and digging for more of this stone. I used to take a shovel, I would tip the shovel down like in the dirt, and uh, it'd be a certain sound at the tip of of the shovel, and and I would notice right away that I found this is stone. But these here are images from my mind in 1978 I got mugged on the south side I got shot two times in the stomach up in the corner for a month and a half but I had an out of body experience but I used to have migraine headaches so I would take a piece of this, this stone and I would uh, like when I walk into a store or something I would see all of these images in it so this is what they're from <laughs> Just having an artist in residence come to the Banana Factory is an enriching experience for the artists who work here. Because when you have the same artists who are here all of the time, they do the same thing over and over and over again. And it's really important to bring in some outside influence that kind of shakes things up a little bit and gets people thinking in a different direction. So certainly any artist in residence that comes to the Banana Factory, that's one of the one of the criteria that I have in choosing somebody. What Mr. Imagination brought, in addition to that, which made it even better, um, was this connection also with the community through Lehigh University. So that not only did he come with his very different kind of art to the Banana Factory, but he came as um, part of a collaboration with the university, 
which then brought together the community and the university. And one of the things that the banana factory is trying to do all the time is work together at all levels of the community because that's where the real people are and that's where art can affect the real people. And Mr. Imagination is probably the most perfect person for that because he is such a real person. So he brought his art to the banana factory. He influenced the artists that were here. He also influenced a lot of kids at all of the schools where he went to, to work. And also members of the community who came here to see him. And his art is so striking that you can't not be fascinated by it. So people who would normally just walk by the studio, walk by the art gallery, couldn't help themselves but to go in and to see the art. So it also really worked for the Banana Factory Mission in that regard too. More people came in, more people looked at art, more people started to see, and that's really probably the most important thing that we can do is get people to start seeing. And Mr. Imagination then operated on all of those levels. And then in addition to that, he's this really, really wonderful person who has this genuine soul inside of him that people respond to like a high piper. So um, you add that on top of the art and on top of what he does to the community and for the community and the collaboration and um, he certainly has been, I think, our most, one of our most successful artists. In is a community cultural arts center um, and I think of it as really uh, an organic composition of three components. And one is the artists, the studios for 23 artists here. The second piece is the gallery. We have two galleries, pretty soon we'll have one very large gallery. And the third component is the educational programs. And the artists, the gallery, and the programs all work together in this organization to present uh, wonderful art to the community so that almost anybody, the whole idea is that anybody who walks through the door of the banana factory feels like they can do art. You don't have to be a professional, you don't have to be taking classes, but you can just come here to learn about art at any level that you want.